Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those cross-watching, welcome back to part two of your Tarot Love Messages. Thanks for joining me on this platform. So in part two, we're going to explore this shift that's taking place in your person's energy where, you know, they're just going to go from one end of the spectrum to another, like no contact, no communication to suddenly talking your ear off and having so much to say from going to an energy who's pulled away from you to someone now who's coming back towards you and you know wanting to chase you wanting to pursue you here so what's caused this uh shift there is there was a strong indication of reconciliation here with this person so when exactly are they returning back into your life um you know when is this reconciliation taking place and any other messages that we need to know here Oh, okay, this one sort of flipped over. Channeling a lot of your energy. Some of you may be dealing with a fellow air sign. Okay, so two and three, interesting. Okay. Even though they may not necessarily be communicating with you right now, they're doing a lot of thinking about you. Okay, in fact, I feel like they're doing a lot of thinking about what went wrong, about, you know, all the memories that the two of you have created and shared with one another about you know what potentially could play out in the future or exactly what the future holds for this connection i feel like you have been dominating a lot of their mental space they've been thinking a lot about you and how to come back into your life okay whether you're going to be receptive to their energy and whether you're going to respond or whether you're going to reject so i feel like there's a lot that they're they're being very strategic here i feel like they're really this is someone who is very careful if you are like texting i feel like then they're being very careful very selective with the words that they're saying like they don't want to step a foot wrong that's what it feels like it just feels like they've messed up here or they're being very careful because they don't want to lose you here and it feels like they may be writing and rewriting and then deleting and then writing some more messages to you here you know trying to make everything perfect trying to trying to be very careful as to not say the wrong thing there is going to be communication and it's coming in very soon actually it could happen for some of you it could happen in a matter of hours days perhaps even weeks here before you hear from this person but i feel like it's a lot sooner i don't think it's gonna even take longer than a month for some of you maybe but i feel like it's going to happen a lot sooner so if you're the one to have reached out here then i feel like this is someone who's going to respond very quickly as well they're not going to play no games you know wait two to three hours before you text this person back i just feel like this person has played enough games and i, I feel like they've kind of got that out of their system is what it seems like so if you're the one who's reached out to them then i see them responding very quickly to you it's almost like they're sitting by their phone waiting for your contact, waiting for you to communicate. If you haven't reached out, then I feel like this person is going to be the one reaching out. But this contact, this communication comes after they've done some more thinking. Because I feel like they have so, a little bit of more thinking to do. I also feel like there is what creates a shift in this person's energy is some sort of tower moment. Now, this, the tower moment here, the presence of it could tell us that right now, the both of you, your energies and this connection, the situation is under the influence of a tower moment. You know, it's lightning bolts have struck the tower. The occupants have flee the tower here. But the tower moment itself, too, is a reminder that this is divinely guided. So even though it feels painful, this separation, this breakup, it feels uncomfortable. It, it just doesn't feel right. It's purposeful. There's a reason why... The tower moment has happened for you it's divinely guided it's been you know divinely it's been 
it's divine intervention here. And essentially, it's telling you that the foundational structure on which you built this connection, well, it's a little outdated. It's a little, you know, unhealthy. It's not strong enough. So it's really giving you a chance to rebuild perhaps a brand new tower or just work on rebuilding this foundational structure altogether here. So that in itself, although you don't, you know, although you feel as though the tower moment has come along and ruined everything for you and it might feel that way and it might even look that way but it's it's actually a blessing in disguise because it, it kind of exposed the cracks in the relationship okay and cracks are important because that's how the light gets in right so it's kind of exposed something to you it's brought something to the surface which, which you know and it's saying here this is the issue work on it instead of you know you looking the other way and willfully ignoring it so i feel like if they're not communicating right now, I feel like they're really kind of just holding back from truly expressing themselves or truly feeling or grieving this breakup or this separation. Then I feel like once that, because right now I just feel like they're kind of maybe pushing, burying their feelings deep down into subconscious. They're really trying to push, hold back and suppress some of their emotions. That might work for a little bit, but it's not going to work forever. So I feel like once those emotions come back up to the surface here, and they're going to have to confront that pain, they're going to have to deal with that pain. That's where I feel like they're going to go through a range of emotions. And that's when I feel like they're going to get a lot more clarity on this situation. I feel like this person does love you. I feel like the both of you have brought a lot of joy and happiness into each other's life. And I feel like this person, you know, they're they're going through a tower moment with you but they want the rainbow the sunshine that's what they want with you and you will get that i feel like for a lot of you this is someone who's coming back here okay they're willing to leave their past behind they're willing to become a healthier and a better version not only for themselves but for the sake of this connection flourishing they're willing to take the both of you and move you away from turbulent waters turbulent <clears throat> rough seas excuse me and head and sail towards smooth calm sailing seas so this is someone who wants to who wants a future with you and they want the future to look very harmonious very joyous and very happy <clears throat> unlike the past which has been a little bit turbulent but that's okay because what's happened here has strengthened you and your connection with one another it's taught you lessons that maybe you wouldn't have otherwise discovered here. I'm also seeing that this person is going to communicate some truth to you, which buckle up, it may feel a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. You know, you've got, you've had the King of Swords earlier in your first reading and now you've got all of these swords. I do feel like there's been a lot of pain and hurt involved in this connection and it may not have been, you know, maliciously intended. But unfortunately, the ones that, you know, you love the most, you tend to hurt the most. And I feel like this person is coming back and they're speaking a truth. Now, some of what they say is going to hurt you. It might feel like they've dropped the bomb or it might feel like you've been hit by a freight train. It, it will be painful. It will be uncomfortable here. But they want to tell you the truth. <clears throat> because you deserve to hear it and you do deserve to know. And going forward, they don't want any more secrets, okay? They want everything out in the open. So... Just a heads up here, when this person does come back, <clears throat> they're themselves, but they're a more authentic <clears throat> version of themselves. And I feel like they're ready to speak the truth. And the truth is this person <clears throat> wants you back in their life. This is someone who wants to work on this connection. This is someone who wants to build <clears throat> you know, a healthy foundation for this connection. This is someone who wants to learn to release some emotional baggages that they may have carried with them and it may have hindered the connection at one point or another this is someone who i feel like you really bring out each other's inner child and this is someone who wants children with you they want a future with you this is someone who wants to grow with you and they want to grow old with you here i feel like this is someone who feels as though you know you have been the shining light in their lives you have influenced them so much in a positive way and and they want all of this back and they want it with you here but right now it just feels like they're putting they're doing a lot of thinking and they're putting a lot of things into perspective and it feels like your connection right now it's on the edge of a precipice what happens from here on in kind of will determine you know um, what the future holds 
and notice how the cloaked figure here is look he's looking out into the expanse land and from that vantage point he can see a whole lot and I feel like this is someone who does see a future with you and they see it so clearly but right now I feel like they're trying to put a lot of things into perspective but I do see them communicating with you and they're communicating with such a truth such a transparency such an honesty here it feels so raw I feel like you are hurt you're hurt by their silence because you feel like because they're not communicating or not responding they don't care I also feel like this is someone who's also hurt if you're the one if you were the one who walked away they feel the sting of rejection if they were the ones that walked away then they felt like they've hurt you here and I feel like right now maybe some time apart from one another is actually a good thing because it's the both of you giving each other the space and some time the time that you need to heal and to grow sometimes things come apart <clears throat> and fall apart so they could come back together in a better way I'm also seeing travel or movement around this person <clears throat> connected to this situation so if you're doing long distance with this person <clears throat> they may be traveling to see you in the near future or you could be traveling to see them all right guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel thanks guys again for your time your energy your attention greatly appreciated bye for now